Hi and welcome to a very quick and very cool tutorial. It is about pull to refresh. You all know this gesture. Um, so once I pull this table view downwards and I release, I can refresh my data. I've just um, added a little logic here so that every time I refresh, uh, we get a new element. So very simple code. And it's all about actually this refresh control. And I was surprised that when I talked to this um, about some friends, um, they didn't know how easy it was to actually implement the refresh control. So I'm going to show you how this is done in maybe even under a minute. So I've just created a little demo project here. Let me just quickly resize this to fit my recording area. And I've just prepared this table view controller here embedded in a navigation controller. And uh, we really do only have this plain and simple table view controller. I have given my cell a reuse identifier of cell. And I've also uh, connected my table view controller with an associated table view controller class. Here you will only find an array that is going to hold our elements, just simple strings that we can then display in our table view. We have one section, um, the number of rows is equal to the number of elements we have in our array. And I'm configuring the table view or each cell with the corresponding element from our array using index path dot row and then setting this to the text label dot text uh, property. So nothing fancy here. Now the actual fancy or actually really simple stuff happens in our storyboard to actually get such a refresh control. It's 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 really damn simple. So we just click on our table view controller and in the attributes inspector, you will find a refreshing attribute. And here I can just enable this and you could even configure uh, what you'd like to print right below the refresh control if you'd wanted to with your custom font, uh, place it um, on the left and the center or uh, align it to the right. And that's, um, that's all there is to it. And then you will also get the refresh control here in the document outline on the left. So let me just quickly bring up my assistant editor here and we can create a connection between this refresh control element in our document outline and our code file here on the right. So I'm pressing control, drag from my refresh control to right below viewed at load. And here I release. I give it a name, let's say refresh, that uh, sounds right. Um, and for the type, I'm not, you're not using any, I'm using my UI refresh control. Just make sure that value changed is selected here as an option. Let's hit connect and we have our connection here in a simple IB action that we can now use to actually create or add some elements to our table view elements array. I'd like them to be kind of unique. So let's um, maybe create an element index. Let's use the count of our table view elements array for that. So we're starting at zero, one and so on and so on. And now we're using our table view elements array, append a new element. Let's just say this element, then use string interpolation here to add our element index. With that, we just append um, unique elements to our table view elements array. And then we can actually tell our UI refresh control that we have here um, as a parameter to end refreshing because now we're done. And we can also call table view and reload data so that we can also see the changes. Now let's quickly run this in the simulator and see if this already works. And then you have um, this nice little uh, pull to refresh gesture added to your table view. And this actually works with everything uh, that inherits from scroll view. So you can use it with a table view with collection view. And this is pretty, pretty cool because you just really uh, need a few seconds to implement this nice feature that users also come to expect from uh, tables and um, apps that really have to refresh uh, data sometimes. So um, <laughs> this was a very quick tutorial. I hope 
you liked it nonetheless. I thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to not miss anything in the future. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.